Welcome back to another video. Today we are back at what was once called the best grind spot in the game. And that is... That's right. Gahas, baby. Let's go. So, back in my day, Sonny, you know, this place was the shit. You know, the best money per hour spot in the game. You would be earning like 20 mil an hour. 25 to 30 at best. You know, if you got a good hour. You know, times have changed, and, you know, Gaha's also got a buff last week, so let's see how much money we would make today. So, I'll be popping the yellow, and this will be the gear that I'm using. So, I'm using, like, converted to Vala gear, and um, some free shit that I got from events, or from seasons, right? So, let's go! Alright, so to make this grind a bit more bearable to watch, story time. So... Back in the day, you know, back in my day, sonny, there was this thing called a renowned score. And it's basically your gear score hitting brackets, and then it would give you additional AP and DP. Basically additional stats on top of your AP and DP brackets. So it was a time wherein AP was the only thing that mattered. Because, you know, you can just bypass building DP because getting more AP would give you more DP. So, shit was crazy back then. Alright, so here it is. Back in 2018, right? So your renowned score is basically your gear score, right? And by hitting gear score brackets, you would get additional stats. Like, if you hit 470, you would get an additional 20 AP. And you would also get raw DR, which was crazy like it's nuts like and this is on top of your ap and dp brackets right so yeah shit was crazy so if you have this gear right this is a very ideal gear people would get or people could have right so you would have a tet witch um tet crescents a tet bazzi and a tri augury so the reason why i'm putting this a try is not a lot of people could get a Tet Ogre just because of how hard it is to get. So the only way you could get an Ogre ring before was, you know, by hunting Ogres. And the Ogre would not immediately drop you the ring. So it's like, think of it like this, right? So the Ogre would drop you a chest. And if you right click on the chest, it would either give you the Ogre ring or it would give you an Ogre ring pity piece. So it's basically RNG on top of RNG. So that's why it's very hard to get. So, but I mean, even if by putting this a try, as long as you could hit 270 AP, you're basically a god. Because, you know, 563 gear score, right? And if you look at the bracket, 563 would put you here. So you would basically get an additional 85 raw DR. Which basically would make you more tanky right and even if you got like because tet it was already hard to get you know people would go nuts if they get tet during these times all the more if you could get a pen right so even if you have tri armors which most people have right even if you have tri armors so you would be at 543 right so at 543 You'd be, you'd still be sitting here, which would still give you an additional 65 raw DR, which would still make you very tanky. So people could just go AP monkey junkie, and they would get freaking tanky as well. So you would hit fucking hard, and people would basically have a hard time killing you since, you know, um, most players would have like try. Because most people would have just like this, right? They would have try accessories. And yeah, so the, most people would just be sitting at 252 AP. And you would be sitting at, you know, if you got very good gear, like 296, 295, with your additional 
renowned score bracket, so you're basically very tanky. And, you know, mind you that Oregon's during this time was very new. So not a, lot not a lot of people have access to it, especially if the only way you could get this is was through your weekly scrolls. So most people would be running muskins. And like I said, the majority of the player base would be running try. Because this was, you know, her resources was very scarce. And, you know, most people could only get tries. So... See, and you are like a 270 AP gear score monkey AP monkey junkie, so you would fucking hit hard and they would do no damage to you. Like that those the, those times were crazy. Those times were crazy. And I mean it's crazy to think, you know, that this gear would take you around two years to get before. Because, you know, now new players could just get this in around a month of just doing seasons. And it just goes to show how much BDO has progressed over time. Which is good, you know, because I think that, you know, it motivates players to play the game more since, you know, they are seeing progress faster and, you know, there's more quality of life changes, more ways to earn income, not just by killing mobs. And, you know, this will eventually lead people to do what the main feature of the game is, which is, you know, it's combat. So, PA eventually had to remove the Renown score system as they acknowledged that majority of the player base could not keep up with the people on top. Because, you know, for various reasons, especially because progression was very slow. And it created an imbalance in the community, right? Unlike now, you know, progression is much faster and you don't even have to enhance your gear anymore. You can pretty much buy everything in the market. And... You know, as a new player, catching up to the people on top is no longer impossible, you know, compared to before. So, the problem nowadays is not getting gear, actually, but what to do with it once you get it. Because, you know, there is a lack of PvP content in the game lately. I mean, the addition of the Arena of Solaire was good. I mean, I mean like, it provided a balanced ground in terms of gear for PvP. You know, to in encourage, you know, new players to participate, returning players, and, you know, the current players to participate. But, you know, these are not really PvP content for people who want to get and feel the value of their gear. Especially for those players who are putting hours on end to reach hard cap. Because, like... Most of the PvP content are capped in the game, right? You get sieges, you get node wars, but... Um, you know, the, there are uncapped sieges and node wars, but... It only happens rarely or once a week. Where you, you can participate in uncapped nodes or... You know, you can only do one uncapped siege a week, right? So, there's also this upcoming update of you know the 300 versus 300 and capped odalita versus comma war but then again it's basically just like siege wherein it happens almost like once a week maybe so so what ends up happening is that people just end up griefing each other starting gvgs and starting chaos in the map because you know that's the only way they can feel value of their gear I mean, they even gutted the red players, man. Making karma a family-wide thing and no longer a per-character thing. So if you get a red character on one one guy, it affects your entire, enti entire characters, right? So, I mean, I'm not a red player myself, but, you know, I feel bad for those who enjoy that side of the game. You know what I'm saying? So... And I really hope PA adds more PvP content in the game. And so, with that being said, since gear is so much very accessible these days and people can already catch up, would it be healthy for the Renown score system to come back? I mean, since people are doing so much damage these days, will the DR brackets from Renown score be a good thing? I mean, what do you guys think? So, we are done with our session, and this is what we were left with. Right? So, we got around 24 scrolls, 
uh, minus from the ones we already had. So we got 13 Kafras and 21 Dust. Now we take everything, put it in the tracker, and boom. We just made 400 mil. 430 mil in an hour of yellow. Is that good? Is that bad? I don't really know. I mean, for a low-end spot, I think it's pretty good. Tell me what you think. Is it good? Is it bad? Because, you know, it is better than 20 mil an hour before. You know what I'm saying? So, so, yeah, tell me. If it's good, if it's bad, I use the yellow loot scroll and peace.